Just so just don't do it, people. I mean, don't gather. CDC put out a travel warning saying do not travel for Thanksgiving. Apparently, a lot of people are not listening. Not listening. Despite a warning from the CDC this week that Americans should stay home for the holidays, millions of people are hitting the roads and boarding planes this weekend to gather for Thanksgiving. The CDC is pleading with people to not travel for the Thanksgiving holiday. But 40% of Americans plan to attend a Thanksgiving dinner with 10 people or more, potentially creating super spreader events all over the country. Thanksgiving has changed over time as well. I know in my family, I know several people who call it colonizer Christmas uh, because they don't really like the idea of what Thanksgiving represents. Sure. Or, or if you even think about it, that original Thanksgiving, uh, you know, where the colony was starving, and, uh, you know, in anthropological research suggests uh, was in such dire conditions they had to resort to cannibalism. Hello, welcome back, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. I think that when most of us think of Thanksgiving, we think of gathering with our family members, uh, having a delicious meal. Uh, many of us go out and help the less fortunate. But there's a fringe group in this country that thinks of Thanksgiving and they fill with this burning political and even sometimes racial hatred of their fellow Americans. These people are, of course, leftists. Before we dig into this one, give me just a quick moment to tell you about this limited time Black Friday offer from Virtual Shield. A new survey reports that an overwhelming 85% of Americans believe that at least one tech company is spying on them through the apps on their smartphones. Two thirds of those ads claim that they've seen ads for products that they've talked about but never actually searched for online. This is exactly why I use Virtual Shield. Virtual Shield prevents advertisers, corporations, and my ISP from keeping tabs on me. Virtual Shield does all of these things and more. Get the Virtual Shield link in my description or in the pinned comment and get 50% off in celebration of Black Friday. But the idea of concentrating America on this day and being celebratory of our nation, we have to sort of say also in addition, you know, you make take great pains to be all inclusive. You know there are some American Indians who feel that Thanksgiving should be a day of mourning, not a day of celebration because of what happened to their people. I think we've probably all noticed that as the years go by, the left becomes increasingly brazen and they're attacks on two of America's favorite holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. For whatever reason, the left has targeted these holidays as part of their culture war. In past years, the media has attacked Thanksgiving as a celebration of swindling natives, genocide day, and equating pilgrims to Nazis. I love the Simpsons, but on last year's Thanksgiving Day special, they actually labeled the pilgrims, quote, oppressive colonizers, which we've come to know as the far left Marxist anti-racism mantra. For example, last year on Colbert, he invited Nicole Wallace over for Thanksgiving to avoid her Trump supporting family members. Oh yeah, I can't think of anything more American or in line with Thanksgiving than encouraging the hatred of your family members based on politics. You may have noticed several sitcoms on network TV depicting conservative family members as subhuman racist monsters. She's from a small town. She's kind of old school. She can be pretty conservative. Oh, she's racist. <laughs> It seems like this year they have coronavirus to beat up Thanksgiving and anybody who celebrates it. Besides network and cable media shaming Americans who dare travel to see family members, MSNBC is of course also making it a racial issue, labeling it quote, colonizer Christmas and describing the pilgrims as cannibals. Thanksgiving has changed over time as well. I know in my family, I know several people who call it colonizer Christmas uh, because they don't really like the idea of what Thanksgiving represents. Sure. Or, or if you even think about it, that original Thanksgiving, uh, you know, where the colony was starving and, uh, you know, in anthropological research suggests uh, was in such dire conditions they had to resort to cannibalism. Wow. I mean, really, you're describing Thanksgiving as a celebration of cannibals, really? Yeah, there were a few isolated recorded incidents of cannibalism among some of the Jamestown colonists during a particularly harsh winter, but it was not widespread. It seems to me to be beyond offensive to describe a national holiday that the vast majority of Americans celebrate as a celebration of racial genocidal cannibals. What are the odds that we're going to see an increased amount of attacks on Christmas this year by the 
usual suspects. I would say it's almost guaranteed. Not a whole lot to say about this other than MSNBC has become a den of racist, anti-American hate mongers who are sponsored by companies such as Oscar Mayer, Gold Bond, and USPS. If you can avoid using these companies, I'd highly recommend it. That's all for this one. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you, and I'll see you next time.